<laughs> Hi everybody, PJ here and uh, we're at a couple of garages at the moment in Sheffield near Meadow Hall. One sells Mercedes and one sells Porsche and I've been meaning to come and have a look at these while I've uh, been running around so while I'm going past let's just go and have a quick look and see if we can see any nice motors, I'm sure we will. I just need to see how to turn the camera around, there we go. Right, so, pushy washy first. Now I don't know if I'm into these, like, you know, big four-seater type Porsches. Me, when I think of a Porsche, I like to think of a, a little rear engine motor that's like, you know, looks like a sports car, but these don't look like sports cars to me, and they really don't float, float me boat. I'd rather have something else, to be honest. But this, this is a different kettle of fish, this. This looks like a, a rip-snorting beast. I'm absolutely fine, Steve. How are you, mate? Now, look at that for a motor car. Good evening. It's not evening, mate. It's uh, it's what time is it? Um, it's a quarter to one here. <laughs> uh, I'm absolutely fine here. Now are you, mate? Now look at that. That looks like sex on wheels, doesn't it? That is really, really nice. Like I said, these things don't particularly float me boat. But look at that, doesn't that look a, well I suppose it's a bit of a Marmite thing either, you either love it or you hate it, and I'll be honest, uh, I hate it. No, I would not have that on my car. If I had a nice car like that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to it I'm afraid. But they're getting very, very popular, these uh, four-seater Porsches. It's 347 there, is it? How many am I buying today? No, I wouldn't buy a Porsche, mate. I wouldn't buy one. But they do look nice, sort of. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not exactly my type of motor car. This one over here is nice. I think this is a, like a 2 plus 2. I don't know, I'm not really into Porsches. I don't, I don't know much about them. Yeah, it's a little 2 plus 2. So it's got two seats in the back. Sort of. But you've got to be, you know, a little bit small. YouTube must be paying well. <laughs> not paying well enough to buy one of these, I'm afraid. Definitely not. Right, shall we see if we can go in the showroom and see if they kick me out? Access on, oh, wheelchair access only. Push. Now that, that is extremely nice. I'm inside now, so I'll, <laughs> they might come and see me. <laughs> Look at that. I bet that's got a folding roof on it. I don't know, I don't know what model it is. And like I say, I don't know anything about Porsche. It's a speedster. Is it a boxster? A boxer, I don't know. Are you buying? Say yes. <laughs> Be nice. Now here you see, this is a good old fashioned looking Porsche. I wonder how old that one is. Look at that look. Very, very nice. 
Happy Friday to you as well, Paul. These are these are how you imagine Porsches to be. That is uh, that is an old one. Let's have a look. Got 111,000 mile on the clock on this one. Oh, 911. Now that is a proper car, even though it's quite old and it's got a few miles on. Look at that. Carrera RS. I'm awesome, love. I'm just looking at your old Porsches. They are fantastic. I'll have a large vodka, please. <laughs> no, I'm fine, love, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just. Have you got one of these spare? I'm not sure when you want any of them. I just, I just wondered if there were one, you know, going. Book she, you know. That is stunning. That. What's that? That one is a speedster. Is it based on the Boxster or the... I'm not sure. I'd need to get a sales for you. No, you are right. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do want any help, just give us a shout. I need lots all of right. help, but... <laughs> okay, no Unfortunately, I haven't got enough money to buy one of these. I just like <laughs> videoing them. All. Yeah. it give me something to have a look at later, yeah. won't it? Yeah. <laughs> I bet I couldn't even afford a hoodie. <laughs> Here we are. Look, this is another... Old G Reg, this one, look. And look at the condition of it, it is absolutely mint. Let's have a look. Oh, this one's only done uh, 97,000 miles. I wonder what they like to drive these old ones. How am I doing? I'm doing all right, mate. But look at that. That is a proper car. You're on this end road, comfy and all the safety features. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't drive this fast. If you had one of these, you'd... it's like my Mark 1 TT. The old ones look the best they do, and yeah. I mean, my Mark 1 TT looks absolutely stunning. And I don't drive it fast. I don't drive it fast. I get 25 to gallon out of it on a good day. But uh, look at that. I bet there's no chance of a test drive. Subtle hint. <laughs> always oh, always the chance <laughs> always of a test can. drive <laughs> look at that I'm looking at your old ones they're absolutely stunning aren't they lovely aren't they yeah absolutely beautiful is that how they've come in or have you had a refurbished type of thing uh, so no they're a couple of customers cars they're customers cars customers cars yeah so um, yeah, well, why are they here uh, the truth is we haven't got that many new cars to show in the display in the showroom so we put a little used car display on so you attack people in of course and it works doesn't it oh, of course, course it does yeah so have you got supply chain problems same as everybody else same as everybody else we have yeah um hopefully get that sorted soon um, <laughs> hopefully uh, still cars yeah. being made at the moment which is good news there seemed to be a, a a big move from the little with porsche anyway from the little like two-seater or two plus two type sports cars to the bigger family cars isn't there and i'll be honest i love them yeah. Like that. Not so much. Well, the McCann is now the most popular car that we do. The McCann? Yeah. Which one's the McCann? The, it's the smaller version of that. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen, yeah, I've seen it outside. outside. Yeah. So that's now, the, that's now our most popular That's car. the most popular car. Yeah. I mean, I can understand it. People want something sporty and, and everything else and still get the kids in the back. But there again, why would you drive like that with the kids in the back? <laughs> Unless you didn't like oh, them, of course. School, mate, when you've dropped them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the point, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so and then they sit in the back and eat the McDonald's and make a mess on the back seat yeah. and everything. Then you have to kill them, don't you? Well, I've got a feeling this year it may get taken over by the take out of the full electric car. All right. That's by far the most popular car at the moment. Right. I've just been across the road, just over there, mm. where they do all the hydrogen stuff, and I've been looking at the hydrogen vehicles over right, there. Okay. Yeah, absolutely great. But have you got an electric one in? Um, so we have got 
What color are they, the white one? Oh, the white one's all electric. All Is electric. it all electric? All electric, yeah. All right. Now this is like a compromise between them, isn't it? So this is like a family type car. Correct. But it's still got that like, it looks like it's doing 120 mile an hour while it's parked up apart yeah, from the roof box. Of course, apart from the roof box. Yeah. But yeah, four door family car, they do it in four seat, five seat. Uh, they also do the uh, cross turismo and sport turismo, which is the sort of bigger back, bigger boot space. Right, right so it's more of a like a, as they used to call them, station state. wagon or, yeah. or a state. Yeah. yeah. As my granddad used to call them, uh, a shooting brake, he used shooting to call break, yeah. yeah, he used to call them a shooting brake. Yeah. Um, so yeah. That's, so this, that's this white electric. one here is pure electric? Pure electric, yeah. Wow. Go on, I'm going to ask you, how much of my pocket money would I have to dish out? So, like all Porsches, they, they vary. So they start at 80 which is a rear-wheel drive uh, version. 80 quid? 80,000. Oh, right, I was going to say, I'll um, have one. <laughs> and then we have the Turbo S version, so it goes through the model range like your 911s do. Yeah. Um, you know, that old. Mm. Usually, with an alright spec, you're sort of 150, 160, 170,000 for that. So as an electric car, what kind of range has this got? If you drive it like a, like a if normal you drive a normal car, you, you'll probably get around about 258 miles. Right. And if you boot it, you might get about 40. <laughs> if you boot it, you might get slightly less. I drove to Wales and I got 258 miles before I had to reach how, out. How did you drive to Wales? Um, uh, just normal. Yeah. Yeah, that was the idea. So we did it all live on Facebook. All right. Um, so we did a live challenge where we were going down around the different race courses around the UK. I got, uh, I got the Welsh one. Right. And, um, yeah, we just, that was a task. Drive normal, live so on, just on Facebook. Get on motorway, cruise control, 70 mile an hour, off you go. Has it got adaptive cruise control on it? It can have it. It can have it. It can have it. Yeah, because my Toyota's got that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but mine's a hybrid. Yeah. I'm a bit about an electric motor, actually. Okay, why? Um, range panic, I think. Range anxiety. Yeah, range anxiety, yeah, yeah. Um, I go up to Durham quite often. My daughter lives up there. Right, okay. And uh, it's 120 mile each way. So I'd be like pushing the... You'd make it, you'd 100% make it, but you'd be surprised when you go to full electric and you get all the electric apps, how many charging stations are around at the moment. Right. Um, Plus they regenerate when you slow down and all that kind yeah. of stuff, yeah. 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 I'll tell you what I love about... I've got a CHR. Yes. Uh, what, I lo what I love about it is, you know that adaptive cruise control? You just set it at 70 mile an hour. If you slow down in front of you, you down even down. if it's down to 5 mile an hour, yeah. And you get in a traffic queue and they're going really slow, you, you don't need to touch yeah, a pedal. It's a fantastic option. Oh, it's great. It's yeah. fantastic, it really is. And it takes so much stress off you as well. Mix it with the lane keeper. So and it's got the lane, time. yeah, it's got the it's lane the keeper on. Almost, starts starts beeping if you're going off and it, it tends to push you back into your lane a little bit yeah. on the steering wheel. It's, yeah, it's great. But, uh, you know, it's, it's the rip snorting, ass tearing <laughs> monsters I like. So these here, these old ones, they must be worth as much money as a, a new one, I would have thought. More. 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 So we have got some special ones. Um, obviously, at the bottom there, we've got the 930 Turbo. Which is that's the one that's on charge, is it? It is, yeah. Right. One of the most iconic 911s that we do. And that's which, which model's that? That's the 930 Turbo. Right. The silver one. So that will set you, set you back about £165,000 at the moment. If you wanted to buy that as it is? Yeah. Even with a flat battery? Um, even with a flat battery. <laughs> um, we've got the... So what, is that a 3 litre engine? So 3 litre engine in the 930. Yeah. Um, naturally aspirated. Um, yeah. It's better than having a turbo, really. Right. I love this one, actually. So that's the first that, 911 Model T. That's that's probably the oldest one of them, is it? That is the oldest one of them, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is that is a classic look for Porsche, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. But if I were going to buy one, I'd be... What's this thing? What's this one here? Is it based on the 911 or is it based on a Boxster? It's based on 911, so it's the Speedster. So it's the 911 Speedster, so the 991, so the previous generation. Right. Um, just sold it yesterday, actually. Have you? Um, it looks like, correct me if I'm wrong, it's got an automatic roof that comes up. 
So it has got a roof that comes up, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we well, we only had two of these cars uh, when they when they came out new. It's 2020. Um, but yeah, they're flying. I can imagine though. It, it looks value, stunning. You know? It really does. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not the classical Porsche look, no. but it is. It does look really stunning. That will be a classic in 20 years, yeah. won't it? Yeah, we put it on our um, social medias yesterday, saying so it was going to be a modern classic. That one, that's yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, um, it's only one of one in, in that colour in the UK. Obviously, with the gold highlights as well. You see this yeah, the special. gold highlights. Yeah. So. Um, the customer of ours actually flew over to Germany to spec this car in the exclusive manufacturer. He did it all himself in Germany with Porsche. What can, what's, what's it like to have that kind of money, do you think? I wish I knew. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> I that, I is, that is stunning. How much of my pocket money would that take off me? So, new. Two, yeah, well, new. But you can only get them, can't you? You can only, well, yeah. What's the well, waiting list for one? You, you can't. It's an invite to purchase car. So we only had two come into this dealership back in 2020. Yeah. The next time they do a speed still will probably be another five to six years. Wow. But you have to be invited to buy the car. You have so, to be invited to buy the car. Invited to buy the car, yeah. So it's like Porsche will come along and say, you've got enough money to be able to buy one of these, we'll make one so for it's you. it's based on how much you've spent at this particular site over the past couple of years. Right, so if you're a good regular customer, they'll say... Look, we've got this model coming out. Are you interested? Correct. Get your hand in your pocket. We'll sell you this. Correct. How deep do you have to dig? It Roughly. W it was 286 new, 286,000. Uh, and it's worth just under 400,000 now. Now it's worth 400,000? Yeah. And it's not, it's not even been on the road yet, has it? Uh, it's it? two years old now. Oh, it's two years old? Yeah. Right. So that's like... Let's buy a car for an investment. So why is it here if it's two years old? Uh, because we recently purchased it oh, uh, last week. Right. We purchased it off the customer. Um, and we sold it again yesterday. So that'll be going to its new owner. Um, wow, it looks it week. looks brand new. I bet it's hardly done any miles, has it's it? It's done less than a thousand miles. Less than a thousand miles in two years? Yeah. That's criminal. Well, it is, isn't it? Having a car like that and doing less than 2,000 miles in it. Well, interestingly, the same guy owns these two cars here, the 964s. These two? Yeah. So this is an original proper RS, worth over a quarter of a million pound now, probably up to £350,000 now. Wow. Um, and this was the limited edition 30-year version. Yeah, this is, I remember when these come out with the big booted end, you know, the big yeah. wheel arches and, and everything so, else. But he uses this car all the time. And he so uses this on a daily basis. Yeah, that's his favourite car. Right, I can understand that. Well, then, it's got it's got hundred and twenty two thousand mile on. Yeah, that's because he uses it on a regular basis. Yeah. It's not his everyday car, right? Like, but it's. But yeah, he uses it. If he goes away, driving events, that kind of thing. Right, that's, that's his, his weekend car. That's his weekend toy. Yeah. 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 But yeah, stunning, aren't they? Oh, they're amazing. That shape for me, the nine six four is. That's yeah, for me. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I mean, I, I love the I love the big fat tires at the back and everything. Yeah. But I just love that that classical shape on on uh, on that one there on the end. It is for me that is the classic 911 shape. Yeah. I mean, it's a G reg. So what's that make about 1972, 73, something like that. Oh yeah. 74. Mm. Yeah, you know that's the car of your dreams when you were a kid. That's the that's the first shape that everybody fell in love with, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, which you can see how that merged into how they've really. how they've evolved. Yeah, yeah. So how old how old's this one then? So these are all eighties cars. These two, um, we've got an eighty two and eighty four. Right. No, they're, they're absolutely amazing. And then you've got a nice blue one down here. Yeah, that one's sold. That's sold as well. Just waiting for its new owner, yeah. So that is the brand new 992 GT3. It's a brand new watch, are they? Well, the GT3. So the, the GT3? GT cars, yeah, the Gran Turismo cars that we offer. Big wings. Right, is it turboed and three yeah. litre? Yeah. Two and a half litre? No, no, it's um, the three point... 
what are they now? These new ones. They were 3.8. I think they're maybe down to 3 litre again now with the turbos back in them. Right. Right, that looks stunning as well. It really does. So again, that's another invite to purchase cars. You can't just walk in off the street and buy one of those. Right. And they come around every seven years or so. I see it's got quite a bit of carbon fibre on it. Carbon fibre roof and wing mirrors and... Yeah. What it's else is car carbon on it? On its carbon underneath. Right. Um, the in interior, the seats all made of carbon. Um, well, let's have a look inside it. Well, look at those seats. Those seats will really hold you in place going around yeah. the bends, aren't they? The thing is, though, people buy these and then they just cruise in them, don't they? They do. You know, they don't go out and welly them. No. Because no. they'd lose too much money on it, wouldn't they? Correct. So we tend to find the people that then buy them second time or third time round, they tend to use them for a bit more of a track car. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the second owner usually uses the car as it probably should. It's got a nice fat boot. I mean, the the original 911s, with the engine being in the back, they were quite tail heavy, weren't they? A bit twitchy at times. Yeah. But I mean, the the modern suspension and the electronics and computers and the things in them now, they, they've they've stabled all that out now, haven't yeah, they? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> and then I believe the next model, the next. If generation. I kid you on, I'm going to buy one. Can I have a test drive? Yep. <laughs> I can't afford one, mate. <laughs> I'll be honest. I believe the next generation from the 911 will probably be hybrid. Hybrid? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in fact, did I see one on Top Gear where they'd done a hybrid one? Was that a Porsche? Jeremy Clarkson was driving one. Well, we do quite a few hybrids already. So we've got the Panamera hybrid, the KN is in a hybrid. Right. Obviously. Yeah, I'm sure I saw one on Top Gear where he was driving a hybrid. Yeah. I can't afford one. No, I can't. So yeah, that's the Porsche range from the 70s all the way through to now. They are stunning, absolutely stunning. I can't believe that's two year old. I know, it's immaculate isn't it? Imagine a, 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 a car company that if you walk in and say, I want one of those, won't sell it to you. That's what keeps our brand exclusive, that's what keeps our prices high in it keeps the used car market well. It's great for a, a Porsche customer because... They're not going to lose money on it. You don't lose as much money as you do with other brands. Yeah. Um, I mean, even a, even a standard 911, if you if you treat it gently and look after it, you're not going to lose a lot of money on it, are you, on resale? No. No. No, but I, it, it just... It just... It just seems a strange concept that you, you can walk in with a million quid and say, I want one of them and I want a new one. And Porsche turn around and say, no, you're not having one. Yeah. It's a yeah. thank you to our loyal customers is what it is. It's, you know, they make special edition customers. It's a bit of a thank you to say, you know, thank you for using So if you was a, loyal. even if you were, say, a footballer or a movie star or something like that, you still probably we couldn't get, get all, one. We get them all coming in and asking the same question and it's the same answer. Bugger off, you can't have one. In well, a, not in quite. A nicer way. In a nicer way, yeah, yeah. No, that's absolutely amazing, my friend. What's your first name, by the way? My name's Ricky. I'm the Ricky. new car sales manager. You're the new car sales manager. Mm. Although I love the classics. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that. My name's Pete, by the way, and I make that's YouTube Ricky. videos. Okay. Nice so, to meet you, Pete. Let's give um, you your details so we can follow you. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is actually uh, going out on... Uh, on uh, what we are? Oh, Facebook at the moment. Okay. We, so, are we live? Are we Facebook live? Yeah, yeah, we're Facebook live. Fantastic. So uh, you know, I get thousand, for, thousands thanks, of views. Thanks for telling me five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, if I'd have told you five minutes ago, you'd have perhaps not been as open with me as uh, as you have been, and I really appreciate that because you know, I went. Where did I go to? I went to um, McLaren at Leeds. And Lamborghini, next the place next door, and McLaren were brilliant with me. Uh, but uh, Lamborghini said you can video through the door, but you can't come in. Nice. So, you know. Right, I am going to go and have a look at your competitors over there. No problem. And see if they're as friendly and as forthcoming 
Well, the information is you've been yeah, absolutely yeah. fantastic. They're the same group as us, so I'm sure. Oh, they're the same group? They're the same group, yeah. Quick, phone him up and say, <laughs> this fella's coming with dreadlocks. He's going to make out he's got loads of money and he wants a test drive, sure. but he ain't got no money, so don't let him have one. He's got a camera, you'll see him. He's got a camera and dreadlocks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Thank I'll you very you much. In. You can get in the cars. If you need anything, we're always open, so come in, have a look. Yeah, oh no, it's fantastic. I mean, I come past here all the time. You know, can we go to Meadow Wall? <laughs> <Not sure. laughs> you know, you know the, you know the thing, don't you? Do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very right, much for you. your time. You're an absolute gent. My pleasure. Thank you very yep. much. Yeah. Right. And I'm going to go over there now and see what Mr. Mercedes have got to say. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, I'm walking into the wall. Well, that was fantastic, that. Those old Porsches are absolutely stunning. They really, really are. I still don't like this with all the flowers on. I think it's, I think it's horrible what they've done to it. But anyway, let's go in across and have a look at some of the, uh, the Mercedes. I must admit, I am partial, more partial to Mercedes than I am to Porsche, but I've never, I have had Mercedes in the past. Uh, and I've never had a Porsche, never had that <coughs> kind of money. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, yes, I do like the Mercedes. I do like the Mercedes as well. Now, these have a lot of the old, uh, well, MPVs, are they called? Let's have a look. Yeah, it was a very nice chap, James. There you go. You was an industrial cleaner on the IKEA site just behind me. <laughs> there you go. So you must be from Sheffield then. Right. I mean, look at that. I can understand people buying them. You know, people that got kids and things like that. Sixty-eight and a half thousand quid. A lot of money. And that's a used one. But these do some nice sports cars. And uh, I must admit, I am, I am partial to a convertible. I do like convertibles. Oh, that sounds nice. The black one will do you. Yeah, it'll do me and all, mate. Paul loves the Mercs. That sounds really, really nice. What is it? AMG. Yeah. I wouldn't have one of them though. Wouldn't have a smart car. Right, let's have a look. JCT 600. The best or nothing. So, I mean, they're not my. This is not my type of vehicle. Like I say, I can understand people that like them and want one, but you know, they're not. Uh, they're not my kind of thing. I'll be honest. Oh, a little four-seater smart. Now, I could have this. I do like this. This is... Uh, this is used. But, I mean, I do like... We do like going out all over the place, as you can probably tell, you know. Egypt a couple of times this year and... and all the rest of it. But, yeah, this is nice. I think it makes into a bed. Or has it got beds up there? Yeah, I think it's got beds up at the top, I'm not sure. Oh, and there you go, you've got your picnic tables and everything. You need an SUV out there in Canada in the winter, I bet you do. I could buy a Porsche in a Merc, you might, but I can't. 
<laughs> oh look at this this is a nice convertible I don't, like I say I am uh, I'm partial to a convertible car looks more spacious yeah I feel like that sometimes mate So that's a C-Class convertible. This is nice. Very nice. Now I could buy this. If I've got the money, I mean. This would be more my type of car, I'm afraid. And I do like these as well. These are nice. They're a bit different to the normal 4x4 type vehicles that you see knocking about. You don't see a lot of them are knocking about these, but they are very expensive I believe. Let's have a look. Hundred and thirty-six thousand uh, total amount payable two hundred and five thousand. <laughs> oh, that's with interest. If you're buying it, if you're buying it out. Uh, hundred and sixty-six thousand. I know they're nice, but they're not worth that much money. I don't think. Not for me, anyway. But they do look nice. They're different to the old Range Rover type things, aren't they? But they're all locked. I'm a bit disappointed they've not got many sports cars in. They haven't. Unless they've got any knocking about. I shall ask. Have you got any little two seater sports cars knocking about anywhere? I don't know. Alright. Lady's going to find out. Three mile per gallon mafia wagon, yeah. Oh yeah, I do like the wind through the dreadlocks. Yeah, these are more saloon type cars, aren't they? Oh mate, I just wondered if you've got any uh, like little two seater sports cars I could have a look at. Um, yes, we have. We've got the SL500. Yeah. Um, which is it's a two seater. Um, and you've got your SLK and your SLC as well. Right. Uh, both fantastic cars. Your SL's bigger than your SLC. Um, so what is it you're looking to achieve? What, what car have you got currently? What, what have I got currently? I've yeah. got a Toyota. Toyota, what model? CHR, the hybrid. Yeah, beautiful. Is that car with you today? No. No, not a problem at all. No, I just want to have a look. I want to get a couple of videos of them. And yeah, stuff, yeah, definitely. See. Do you want to come forward? I'll see you. Yeah. Outside, you? I've just been across there and uh, looking at all the old classic Porsches out there. Oh, they've got some beautiful stuff. Oh, there. yeah. And I'm, I'm, I do like convertibles. Yeah. What is it you're filming for? Uh, YouTube, Facebook, that yeah. kind of stuff. Are you a YouTuber? Are you I am a full-time YouTuber, my oh, friend. Excellent. 32,000 subscribers, 16 million views, and uh, yeah. yeah. And I was driving past, I normally do industry and things, but I was driving past and I've been meaning to come down here and have a look for ages. But um, today's the first chance I've had to, you know, come and uh, have a look around. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So is, are you looking at the, the um, convertibles for yourself or is it for the... Oh, for yeah. me, me, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm an Audi TT man, actually. So this is one of them, this is your SL500. Oh yeah, very nice. It's very different to your Audi TT. Your Audi TT is a smaller footprint, as you can imagine. Yeah. yeah you should probably notice pretty good. So does this have the fold away, fold away roof? It does, yeah. Very nice. How old is it? No, 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 no. Just sorry, that mate. No worries. It's what, sorry? Twenty nineteen. Oh, right. So it's a couple of year old. Yeah, fantastic motor. Yeah. What size motors in that then? Three liter. 
I know some of them used to do some that was supercharged and some turbocharged, weren't they? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I can print out the entire spec list if that's better for you. You what, sorry? I can print out the entire spec list. No, you're all right, my friend. Was it the CLK that was supercharged? The original ones when they first I'm come out? I'm not sure. Where. I've, only, I've only been here two and a half years. I'm all right, yeah. yeah. Still, learning, still learning it. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and that. You've got, you've, um, you've got your SLC as well, which is, I don't think we've got any at the minute in the stock. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. No, I just wanted to have a look around, my friend. That's all. Yeah, all no. right. And what was your name, sorry? Peter. Peter. Nice yeah. to meet you, Peter. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm loving the dreadlocks, by the way. Yeah. You'd be amazed how many people want to come up and have photos with dreadlocks. Really? When I was in Egypt earlier this year, and I'm going back in it very shortly, it must have been half a dozen times a day people were coming up wanting photos of my dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Crazy. Right, anyway, I'm going to get off. Yeah, yeah, not a problem. I'll, I'll have a look at YouTube as well, if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, there you go, it's on my back, look. There we go, PJ Audits. That's me. And I'm just going up the road now, I'm going to video the uh, the cranes, you know, where they do the cranes and yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. all that stuff. I think I've heard of your YouTube. You might have done it. Actually, if you go on uh, Facebook, PJ Audits, you'll see this, because it's been live. Yeah, yeah. So... Right, anyway, I'm going to crack on. Yeah, no Thank problem. you very much for your time. You're very welcome. It was nice meeting you as well. And you. Cheers, thank you. Ta-da, my friend. Well, not as much to see the here as there was at the, at the Porsche place. But still interesting. Anyway, that's about it for this live stream. Uh, I think my battery's about to die on my phone. So, we're going to have to love you and leave you. And I'm going to go up the road there, and they've got those big cranes that you can see from the uh, from the M1. So I'm going to go up and have a look at that, and perhaps get the uh, the dread drone out, depending on what the wind's like. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that, and we'll see you all in the near future. Bye, everybody.